Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning in Barosland and good morning in Zambia. This is Madam Sylvia Namangonawa, President for Liberty Democratic Party. Today I would like to say something about the arrest of uh, former First Lady, uh, Madam Esther Lungu. I have really been touched by the fact that there's a report that she has been arrested over proceeds of crime, suspected proceeds of crime. It's the first time in Zambia ever that we have heard of a first lady being arrested over gifts that she may have received from her husband. Why do I say gifts that she may have received? Because Madam Esther, former, former First Lady Madam Esther Lungu, was never in a position of sitting in an office where she was signing off anything. She was just a woman who was married to a president. Her job was just to look after her husband and to save her husband. And then later, when she's gifted, because if she was not in a position to earn a salary or to sit in an office where she would get a loan, obviously what she has have been gifts from her husband. Which woman would question her husband when she's gifted? No woman questions her husband when she's gifted. You are happy because you are seeing that your husband appreciates you. And we talk about a total of 41 million kwacha. 41 million kwacha. That is very little money. Madam Esther Lungu was married to a, to a president. She was first lady. Married to a president. You mean a president cannot have 41 million kwacha to give to his wife? To build houses or flats, whatever you call them? If young men, young men, young young men in Lusaka there, they run around, they make more than those 41 million kwacha that you are talking about. That is little money. They make that money. But for a former first lady, she's arrested for that. That is very flimsy and very unfair. And head off, and head off in Zambia. And head off where a first lady is arrested because she was gifted by her husband. No, that is totally, totally out of order. It's out of order. Why don't you go and arrest the, the, the one who was giving the gifts? He's the one who was sitting in the office. He's the one that you should talk to. Not the one who's receiving the gifts. And especially as a wife, Ah, uh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is very, very wrong. This is very wrong. I have prayed. Last night, I prayed for Madame Esther. I prayed for her. But this is very wrong. This sends a very bad signal. <laughs> you know, you can deal with the opposition leaders, yes. You can deal with those who are hate speechers, yes. But to arrest a former first lady, where you are still speculating, you are still saying they are supposedly proceeds of crime. 
sends a very bad signal to the international uh, uh, world. Sends a very bad signal. Mr. President, this is going to dent your name. This one is going to dent your name. Just a few months ago, or maybe just a few weeks ago, I think you were honored being one of those who are practicing democracy in Africa. I think you came up as number five. It was very good. We clapped for you. But now, first of all, it's the opposition leaders. It's the MPs. It's the first lady. Who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? And even for those MPs, I believe that in Parliament there is a way of punishing them. If their only punishment that I see in, in Parliament is that of suspending them for one week, for one month, then that is not enough. Then the legislators, you need to relook at that. The, 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 the code of conduct in Parliament, then you need to relook it. Because that thing of one, one MP keeps going in and out, suspended today for seven days, suspended tomorrow for 30 days, suspended to the other day for, for, for 14 days, then that member, that honorable member is not supposed to sit in that house because then they have no character. Their character does not befit sitting in that house. So I would have thought that for the honorable members, the parliament, the speaker, that the code of conduct there is the one that should have dealt with them. That's the one which should have dealt with them. Because as long as they are in and out, they feel we are here to stay. But members, honorable members, should learn, should guard their tongues. They are national leaders. What they say with the people, people are very gullible. What they say, people take it as gospel truth. Not many people have a privy to having information. So they'll take it as gospel truth. For those ones, they can be dealt with in that way. Opposition leaders, deal with them. They know what they are doing. But first lady, I ah, know, Mr. President. No. You wouldn't want to dent your name. Go after those who looted our treasury those are the ones that you are supposed to go after those who looted the, our treasury those who gassed us we were not sleeping well those who gassed us those are the ones who want to see going to court and be being sentenced going to jail but as it is they are working scot-free they are all over they're working scot-free. Three years down the line, even the, the, the first fear that they had, that they would be arrested, they don't have it anymore. That's why you are seeing that they are very, they are very rude and they are just doing whatever they want to do. Running, just chaotic everywhere. And that's why even the former president is behaving the way he's behaving. This Mr. President, I'm talking to President HH now. This Mr. President, these ones you should have dealt with them the first six months of you being in office. You should have dedicated all your energy on them. Putting the very fear of God in them. Six months, they should have been brought to book. Because the evidence was there. People were being gassed. Evidence was there. So who was gassing us? But three years down the line, we don't know who was gassing us. Nobody's answering for that. People have looted our treasury. They have dollars, bags and bags of dollars in their houses, and we are not seeing anything happening there. That they have regrouped. That's why they are behaving like that, and that's why they have the confidence that they can do whatever they want to do. Those are the ones that you should have gone after. Not to go after a first lady who was never in those offices, no. No, 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 no. No, that one, no. But those same looters, those ones who have put us in this situation, those are the ones you should have targeted. Those are the ones you should have targeted, Mr. President. 
you are ordering the police. You are ordering the police, and it looks like your your IG is trigger happy. He's trigger happy. He should concentrate on those criminals and not following people who are speaking head speeches. He head speeches. We've picked them up. No, what we want to see are the looters. The ones who cleaned out the treasury, the ones who were going to Bank of Zambia and getting out monies from there, those are the ones that we want to see taken to book. Those are the ones who want to see taken to book. Ah, the first lady, no. The first lady, no. And you see what you have done? Because you ordered the police. <laughs> you ordered the police. To start arresting. Now I'm speaking to you prophetically. I'm a woman of God. Prophetically. What you have done is you have released a spirit of political lawlessness. That's what you have done. You have released a spirit of political lawlessness. Because from the time that you made that statement, I'm ordering the police now to arrest. Look at what happened in Northwestern Province. That youth, the kind of adjectives, the kind of insults that he directed to the former president, President Edgar Chagwarungu. They are, they are unspeakable. And yesterday, I, I just saw on social media, here are you marching on the streets. They are singing insults directed towards the former president, Edgar Chagwarungu. Ah, come on. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. He's an elder statesman. He may be a naughty man. We may rebuke him here and there, but to insult him like that? In a song, police were watching. They are watching. And they will watch. Because remember, they have just come from an administration which when they try to correct a wrong, they are fired. So they will watch. So what you have just released is the same spirit. The one that you were saying, I will not allow that. On my watch, I will not allow that. But that is exactly the spirit that you have released. A spirit of political anarchy, political lawlessness. Because those boys marching on that street, that is political lawlessness. So you have released that spirit. Remember, this is a Christian nation. It's a Christian nation. And according to the word of God, according to the word of God, According to Job 22, he says, you shall speak a thing and it shall be established unto you. That's what the word of God says. So when, the, when Zambia was declared by Dr. Chuba, the late Dr. President Chuba, when, when he declared Zambia as a Christian nation, guess what? He declared and decreed Zambia to be a Christian nation. He spoke something and it has been established. It is established spiritually. It's established in heaven. You can't break this. You can't stop it. So therefore, what you must realize is the spiritual forces will be at play. Whatever you say, they use it against you. They come and manifest. And that was, is what has happened. You spoke a thing. You gave an order. It has been established in this sphere where the enemy is operating from. That is why there is so much lawlessness now. Because that spirit is now manifesting. I have said, and I'll say it again, Mr. President, that we need to pray. Only prayer can break this. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.